Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm joined today by Purcell, this is my cat. <laughs> today we're going to make these containers uh, for pencils. I'm using them for all my art materials. So I've got my paint brushes. I've also got, um, if you can see, the bits and pieces, those hearts that I used last week. Um, different things that you can use for your bedroom to keep everything organised. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. So the materials that we need are tins, baked bean tins, and these are tuna tins, a selection. Secondly, you'll need some acrylic paint or this is emulsion paint. Uh, we used that last week and that's fine. Um, a brush, a permanent marker, and the stencil which I'll include with um, the video. So now we've got the can which I've taken the label off and I've washed it. Don't use ring pull cans because they have a sharp edge. Only use a can that you open with a can opener. Okay, so now we are ready to paint. So now we're going to do the base coat on the tin and you need your paintbrush. And I've, if you have a slightly bigger paintbrush, it will help for this covering it all. And I'm using emulsion paint here. It's one of those tester pots. I'm trying to use materials that you may have at home. So we're gonna cover this completely in the paint. If it doesn't cover first time, do one thin coat and then go back over it and paint it again. This is where I've done the three pots. Um, you can be letting one dry while you're painting the next tin. Okay. So this sort of slightly wider brush does help to cover it completely than if you use a tiny brush. Okay. So that's one coat and we'll let that dry. So now we've got our tin which is painted and it's dry and I've also painted inside because it just gives it a better finish. And we're now going to use the stencil which you should have cut out, I've provided that and we're going to draw around it with a marker pen. So just doing the outline. Now if you're confident in drawing, you don't need to use the stencil, you could just draw your own design or just do a pattern. Take that away so you can see the outline of the fox. So now I'm going to paint it and I wanted to paint an orange fox but I've not got any orange paint so I'm going to mix the two colours. I've got a yellow so I'm going to add some yellow and I'm going to add some red 
which will make an orange colour. You just mix it together. Keep mixing it. I might have to add a bit more yellow, but I think I'm happy with that. It's a very ready orange. Let's put a tiny bit more yellow. So remember that red and yellow make orange. So when it's all nicely mixed together, remember you can use whatever colour you want. This is your design. You've just got to enjoy it. So now I'm going to paint inside the lines and I'm using this time can you see a smaller brush which because it's for a smaller space and it's easier to use I know a lot of you are good at painting so you'll be fine with this Can you see I'm just gradually adding the colour. I've been trying to use materials that you'll have at home because it's not that easy to do the shopping at the moment. Just doing the, the the face. There we are. When it's dry, I'll probably add an eye and a little smile. So that's the fox. So if you don't want to do the fox, um, these are the other designs that I've done. Um, the bird was just drawn freehand um, and then coloured in with different colours. I've done the, there's a blue fox there. And then these here, if you don't, these are just um, patterns. Can you see how I've painted inside? because they stack nicely and then I've just painted dots on some of them, stripes, all different colours and they stack nicely there. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I just want to show you what we're going to do next week. Um, I thought that we could do a picture for your room. So I'll just show you an example. Um, I'm using a hair there coming through a book. So what you'll need is some pages from an old book if you've got it. If you haven't, newspaper will be fine. Some paint. Watercolours if you've got it, or the acrylic paint that we've used before, a pen and some scissors um, and that should be it. So I hope you've enjoyed it today, um, look after yourself, um, enjoy your week and I'll see you next week.